Good morning everybody, my name is Teacher Prashant and welcome you all to another video. This is Solving Linear Equations Part 6 and in this video we are going to be learning how to solve linear equations involving multiple fractions on either side of equal to with brackets. Now before I start this video let me tell you something. This is Part 6 and we are about to end with this series and uh, once we are done with the series we'll start linear graph. So this is going to be the last video of solving linear equations. If you guys have any request, if you guys want me to solve any kind of questions which is troubling you, you can always leave your question down in the comment section below and I will solve it for you. Now without any further delay, let's walk into the lesson. Alright, so as we can see right here, 2x plus 1 divided by 2 minus 4x divided by 4 equals 2 bracket minus x minus 4 divided by 2 minus 8x divided by 4. So we can clearly see that we have two fractions on the left hand side and we also have two fractions on the right hand side. And there is also an operation with bracket. So this is what we are going to be doing today. So let's jump straight into the questions. Now before we jump into solving this equation, there are certain steps which are meant to be followed if you want to find out the value for x. Now these are my own steps. You can make your own. Okay. So number one is going to be break any brackets if there are one in the equation. So as we can see, two bracket minus x minus four. So we have a bracket in this equation. So let's go solve that bracket first. So let me write down. 2x plus 1 divided by 2 minus 4x divided by 4 equals now let's solve this bracket so as we know according to the distributive law of mathematics this 2 will be multiplied to minus x and this 2 will also be multiplied to minus 4 now what is 2 times minus x 2 times minus x is minus 2 x. What is 2 times minus 4? 2 times minus 4 is minus 8 divided by 2 minus, let's write the rest of the equation which is 8x over 4. Alright, so we are done with step number 1. Let's go highlight that step so that we know that this has been completed. Alright, now let's jump on to step number 2 check the denominators. Now our denominators are 2, 4, 2 and 4 and find the LCM if denominators are not equal. Now as we can see in our case denominators are not equal. Number 1 is 2, number 2 is 4, number 3 is 2 and number 4 is 4. So they are not equal. So what do we do in this case? We find the LCM. So LCM of 2 and 4 is gonna be 4. Now step number two is done which was finding the LCM if the denominators are not equal. Now what is our third step? Our third step is to multiply every fraction with the LCM. Now why do we do that? We do that to cancel the denominators so that from a fractional equation we can get a non-fractional equation. Now let's see exactly how. Okay so let's multiply the fraction number one with our LCM which is four. Now let's multiply our second fraction which is 4x divided by 4. So multiply with the LCM 4. Same thing on the right hand side. Minus 2x minus 8 divided by 2 times 4. And 4x over 4 times 4. Okay, now our step number 3 is done. So let's go highlight so that we don't confuse. Now let's jump on to step number four. What step number four is simplify the equation to get rid of fractions. Now how do we simplify this equation? Just by dividing numerator by denominator. So as we can see, two times one is two, and two goes two is four. Four times one is four, and four times one is four. Two times one is two, and two times two is four and 4 times 1 is 4 and 4 times 1 is 4. So as we can see our denominators are being cancelled. This is called simplify the equation to get rid of fractions. How do we do this? Multiply the fraction by the LCM of every denominator combined. Good. So we are done with step number 4. So let's highlight this. Now let's jump on to step number 5. What is step number 5? Step number 5 is rewrite the non-fractional equations. Now how do we do that? Now we do that by simply writing whatever is left after we simplified every fraction. 
are the entire equation. So 2x plus 2 times 2. So we can write 2 multiply by 2x plus 1 minus 4x times 1. Now you can just simply write 4x because 4x times 1 is 4x but you know I love solving questions in detail so alright. So minus 2x minus 8 multiplied by 2. So let's write 2 minus 2x and minus 8. And our last fraction is minus 8x times 1. Okay, so now let's rewrite this again. So as we know, let's apply the distributive law. So 2 times 2 times 2x and 2 times 1. So 2 times 2x is basically 4x and 2 times 1 is plus 2. Minus 4x times 1 is 4x, so that's not a problem. Let's write 4x. Again, 2 times minus 2x is minus 4x. Be very careful what you are engaging right here. You are engaging 2 and minus 2x with multiplication and this is minus 2x and this is plus 2x. So plus times minus is minus and 2 times 2x is 4x. That's why we get minus 4x. Now plus 2 times minus 8 is gonna be minus 16. Minus 8x times 1 is 8x. Good. Now we are done with step number 5. What is step number 5? Step number 5 was basically rewriting the non-fractional equation. Now what is a non-fractional equation? Non-fractional equation is an equation without fractions. So as we can see, 4x plus 2 minus 4x equal minus 4x minus 16 minus 8x. So there's no fractions involved in this equation. Now what do we do? We have already learned how to solve this equation. Step number 6 is going to be keep like terms on either sides of the equal to sign. So what is a like term? We have to figure out what is a like term before we jump into solving this equation and find the value for x. So what is a like term? Like terms, so we can say right here 4x minus 4x minus 4x and minus 8x they are basically like terms. Why they are like terms? Because all these terms have the common variable which is x. That's why they are called like terms. Now what about these numbers? Minus 16 and plus 2, these are basically constant. If you guys don't know what are variables, what is a constant, what is a coefficient, you, you guys should check my previous video. I will put a link to my playlist on top of your screen and so that you guys could check and find out. Alright, so let's just move on. Okay, so what is step number 6? Step number 6 is basically keep all like terms on either sides of equal to. Now what does that mean? That means 4x minus 4x minus 4x and minus 8x. All these x should be on one side of equal to and the numbers which is plus 2 and minus 16 should be on other side of the equal to. So how do we do this? Before we move any term on other side of equal to, keep in mind if plus goes on other side it changes to minus. If minus goes on other side it changes to plus. Okay so Let's start with this minus 4x. So if we send this minus 4x from the right hand side to the left hand side of the equal to sign, it is going to change from minus 4x to plus 4x. Same as this minus 8x. If you move this minus 8x on the left hand side of equal to, it is going to change its value to plus 8x. So, so let's move minus 4x and minus 8x on the left hand side of equal to from the right hand side. Now what's going to happen? Let's write 4x which uh, which basically come from here and minus 4x which is already on the left hand side. That right. so what about this minus 4x when it comes on the left hand side from the right hand side it is gonna change to plus 4x. So the same concept applies with minus 8x so when from the right hand side minus 8x goes on the left hand side it is gonna change its value from minus 8x to plus 8x. What about this plus 2? When plus 2 goes on other side it's gonna change to minus 2 and minus 16 which is already on the right hand side. Okay, now 4x plus 4x and plus 8x they are all positive terms so let's add the positive terms. 4x, let's rearrange them. 4x plus 4x plus 8x minus 4x 
equals minus 2 minus 16. Now, what is our next step? Is solve the equation for x so that we get the value for x. So let's do this. Okay, so let me write this properly. Alright, so please forgive my bad handwriting. I'll try better next time. So let me write the same equation in a straight line. So, this is going to be our next step. Our next step is going to be add all the positive terms. So 4x plus 4x is 8x. 8x plus 8x is 16x. So where did 16x came from? It came from 4x plus 4x plus 8x minus 4x which was remaining. Minus 2 minus 16 is minus 18. Remember minus and minus we always add but we use the negative sign. So 16x minus 4x is gonna be 12x. So 12x equal minus 18. Now 12x basically means 12 multiplied by x equal minus 18. So to find out the value of x, you need to move 12 on other side of equal to. Since on left hand side 12 is being multiplied by x, on right hand side x is gonna be divided. So 12. So let's write this minus 18 divided by plus 12. Alright, so before you find an answer, keep in mind that we are dividing minus by plus. So minus divided by plus is actually minus. So let's write minus first. What is 18 divided by 12? So let's 2 times 9 is 18 and 2 times 6 is 12. 3 times 3 is 9 and 3 times 2 is 12. So we can write minus 3 over 2 or minus 1.5. See that? That's our value for x and it's very simple. If you guys pay attention, you can easily solve this equation. Alright, just follow the steps or make your own steps, whatever suits your convenience, whatever you need to find the value for x. See the like on this video only if it was helpful to you and do not forget to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss anything in the future. Now before I end this video, let me tell you the topics for my next video. The topic for my next video is going to be a linear graph and in that we'll be learning what is an x-axis, what is a y-axis and what is a coordinate. So thank you so much for watching and do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much. A very goodbye from Teacher Prashant and I'll see you guys very soon. Take care.